everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another Seaside Bay project for you today. If you haven't stopped by my blog, I have three projects today uh, featuring the Seaside Bay bundle. This is a bundle that was in the spring catalog, carrying over to our new annual catalog that starts May 2nd. And I am using some new colors. Um, I pulled this color palette for this week's projects. Boho Blue is one of our new in colors. Misty Moonlight is a returning in color, coming back as a uh, neutral in our core color family. And then of course, good old Night of Navy goes great with these. So this is a color palette I'm using this week. We're gonna really use the Misty Moonlight on this card right here. Now I am also using some designer series paper that retires on May 1st. It's a great pack of kind of water, ocean, beachy themed um, paper. So I encourage you to check it out before it's gone. All right, let's create our little cluster here. I have done some things ahead of time for the sake of the video. I cut out um, one of our deckled edge rectangles from both Misty Moonlight and Crumb Cake. I have cut out another small deckled uh, rectangle from Basic White. I have cut out this really fun seashell from Basic White and two grasses from another new color called Pecan Pie. This is quickly becoming my favorite neutral brown. I love it. Now we need to stamp some other things. So we're going to stamp first the crab. I think the crab may be my favorite stamp in this whole stamp set. We're gonna stamp the crab in Cajun Craze. This stamp has some um, texture on it. You can see how it looks like it has dimension, but the stamp itself is pretty flat. It adds quite a bit of texture to your um, image and uh, really cool. All right, then we're going to use basic gray for the seashell. So we'll stamp that right there. All right, now I'm going to bring over my mini cut and emboss machine. Now this mini cut and emboss is actually one of our new colors, Boho Blue. It was available during celebration, um, so it's not available anymore, but if you like the little machine, it is still available in white. It is so easy to use and to travel with if you travel, if you take your supplies to crops or on trips or maybe camping. This is a great machine to take. All right, I'm gonna line up my dies. There we go, and carefully, oh so carefully, lay down your clear plate on top and run them through. All right, now let's start adding some texture and interest to our other pieces. You're gonna need a piece of, of uh, scratch paper or grid paper. And I'm gonna take my, um, hello, crumb cake <laughs> deckled edge. I can, I can hear my dogs right outside the room. They're starting their wrestling match, so I'm very distracted. Um, I'm gonna take this and just t tear it in half, all right? Now I'm gonna use the uh, sand little dotted image, and I'm really just gonna add a bunch of dots and notice I'm going to stamp a couple of times. Every time I ink it, I'm just going to add quite a bit there like that. Oh, now their wrestling match is getting serious. Hopefully you guys can't hear them. Now I've got one of our small blending brushes and I'm going to add some color here like this. They're like children. As soon as they hear a mom doing something, they're like, oh, let's make a lot of noise the time when she doesn't want us to make noise. Okay, anyhow, adding crumb cake with my small blending brush all around the edges. All right, now let's bring over our Misty Moonlight piece and I'm gonna take my sand or texture stamp, clean it off really well, and then we're just gonna add a little bit of Misty Moonlight to this as well, just kind of adding a little bit, maybe like water spray. And I'm stamping off mostly because I don't really want it to be too dark. Like that, okay? There we go. Now, you know what? Let's bring back over our seashell. And this is just too perfect to be a seashell. It needs to be a little bit dirty. So I'm gonna take my crumb cake blender brush here. I'm not gonna even add any more ink, but I am just gonna kind of add 
some color to it. Now we've got some great accessories to go with this. They're little flat pearls. I'm not using them this time, but this little die is designed so that you can kind of put on your card like that and put the, um, the little pearl on the inside. They're really cute, but I didn't, I didn't use that this time. I do have another project on my blog. You'll see where I did use it. So make sure you check it out. I'm just going to fold it flat. All right. So now we're going to just take some stamp and seal, add this to the bottom. They're exactly the same shape. So the edges should match up perfectly. All right. Now I've got those little grasses and remember we've cut these from pecan pie. One of our new beautiful in colors. And I'm going to actually put my, my adhesive on top. Whoops. Let's move those over a little bit. Like this. And you're like, what are you doing? Well, this is where we're going to put our other things. And so we've kind of just taken advantage of that adhesive like that. And we're going to use it like that. Okay. I find that that really holds things down really well. All right, now for our little crab, we'll put him over here and our seashell. And I feel like maybe I need to do things up a little bit higher, don't you? I think we need to go a little bit higher. Let's just move everything up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, I still can't see that shell very well. There we go. All right, that shell is so beautiful. I didn't want to hide it. Now we'll stamp our sentiment in Misty Moonlight right here. Thank you for everything. We'll add that on with a dimensional right here. Let's go in a little bit further, just a little bit like that. Now I'm going to do one more thing. We have these awesome faux sea glass shapes from our annual catalog. And I'm going to take my um, dark pecan pie and I'm going to color some of these rocks. And the ink, because this is an alcohol marker, will dry really fast. And we can add these to our ocean floor. Now these will be gone with the new catalog, so make sure you grab them. I think they're marked down actually on sale. So get them before May 2nd. And I'm just going to kind of do a few, a few there. We want them all kind of turned a different way like that. And then we'll take this last one and put it in the corner like that. All right, let's put the rest of our card together. I have a piece of Knight of Navy and it is five by three and three fourths. And then I have a piece of basic white that is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. I have a strip of our DSP. And I'm gonna put that on here and I should have cut this before. So we're just gonna make it longer than our white piece. Like that. And then we'll just snip it. Okay, so it'll be even with our edges. Like that. Now I brought in a sliver of Cajun Craze just to kind of bring in that color of our crab. It's three eighths of an inch wide. I'm gonna put that on there like that. And then we will grab our dimensionals. And put this here like that. And last but not least, we'll put it on our card base. And you got it, more dimensionals. You might want to put a extra stamp <laughs> or use a non-machinable stamp on this card if you send it in the mail. It's got a lot of dimensionals. All right, now let's add a little something on the inside. Let's take this little seashell and let's stamp it a couple of times, maybe here and maybe here, like that. 
All right, and there you have it. A really easy thank you for everything card. Now make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go over to my blog, check out my other projects. Let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget, the little rocks and the paper go away on May 1st. Get them before they're gone. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.